this video is from Zenkai Goose again. We watched one of his videos before. Um, this one is called Why Call of Duty Isn't Dead Yet. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. And obviously it's going to be talking about the history of Call of Duty and stuff, which I know a good deal about. So uh, let's see what, what what's good. Batman, what's up? Oh, sorry. 23 games over 20 years and the Call of Duty franchise is still going. But how is this even possible? Just what in the Sergeant Price? It is actually a very interesting dichotomy when you look at Call of Duty as a whole, how many games have been out, and the fact that it is still even, not just relevant, pretty much the biggest franchise in video games. No other game can release yearly and do that well. FIFA comes to mind, uh, but other than that... This is mustache is their secret. You want the gloves off? They're off. You see, I've been playing Call of Duty every year for most of my life, which sounds too, insane man. to say, but it's true. There's been good years. We want the numbers, Mason. That's all we Great year. wanted. And there's been uh, not so... Is he going to go Vanguard on this? Is he going to go... Im He's going to go Infinite Warfare. No good years. One of the key reasons Call of Duty has been as successful as it is, is we focus on... Fish AI. Fish. Yeah. That was a rough one, wasn't it? Cod but ghosts. in a world where our attention can only be held for a few seconds, because we're basically goldfish at this point, I wanted to go back to the beginning to see what exactly Call of Duty does differently. Interesting. Where are we going back to? Well, okay, went a little too far on that one. Although Call of Duty Dinosaur Warfare is intriguing. Uh, I, I might do a video on this on the main channel, but I don't know if you guys saw this. Um, Activision put out a job listing for a new IP, um, which is interesting because I believe they said that they were working on like a survival game uh, that got shut down. That might have been Blizzard, but this one's Activision. Um, we don't know what it is yet, but uh, apparently they're working on something new. Let's Won't be Call of that. Duty. Perfect. But this isn't Call of Duty. Our story begins with Medal of Honor Allied Assault oh. from Electronic Arts. It's a classic World War II shooter and it's a huge success for everyone all around. I'm assuming he's going to go well, into... Except for these guys. What happened with Medal of Honor. These guys? They're the creators, Jason West and Vince Vin Sampella. And they're not satisfied. They want to do something more, something bigger. So they leave EA to start Infinity War. That logo just feels nice to look it, at. Don't worry, they go like back the game to I'm EA. Play is completed. It's been finished. What the fuck is this piece of shit? We live in a weird time. <laughs> but the team needs money pronto. So they meet with Activision, one of EA's competitors, who's like, oh, you want money to build a competitor game to our competitor's lead hit franchise? <laughs> Where do I sign? Okay, so now Infinity Ward's rolling in cash and the team starts building their first game, completely unaware that it had changed gaming forever. Call of Duty, the first one, didn't Quick change context. video games forever. This time the World Not War Shooter space was insanely crowded. Literally everyone and their dogs are making World War II Very true. Okay, maybe not literally, although that does sound incredibly adorable, doesn't it? So Call of Duty defies all odds and comes out the gate a mega hit. And Activision starts thinking, money, and buys a stake wait, wait, wait. in Infinity was was it a mega hit mm, can i find the sales for it video game sales yeah i wouldn't call it a mega hit second one was yeah it doesn't have anything on call of duty one it says Call of Duty 2 sold over 250,000 copies in the first week and sold around 1.4 million copies by October. I would say that is a huge success. I don't know if the first one was though. Boom, they're in business. Call of Duty's here to stay, but now they're gonna make a sequel and the team wants to go big. Meanwhile, Microsoft's over here looking for games to launch on their unannounced Xbox console, the Xbox 360. Now this is where things blew up. And yes, the eyebrow movement was needed. So, with the power of the 360, Infinity Ward builds the next generation of Call of Duty. Oh, and it's good. Like, really good. I don't love the campaign, if I'm being this honest. This is actually but my first Call of Duty. I still remember renting the game from Blockbuster. You guys remember Blockbuster? And how the first one I played was Call of Duty Big Red one. Um, I actually recorded 
me playing the game, the campaign, I recorded the screen with a camera, like set it up on my table, recorded it, uploaded it. Like six years later, not even six years, like three years later, the video got like 100,000 views on YouTube and I didn't understand why. And that's because people started uploading Call of Duty videos to YouTube. I wish it was still on my channel. I deleted it a long time ago, but still. Having my little mind absolutely blown at that new smoke tech. I mean, just look at that. No one had ever done that before. Yeah, sure. The gameplay was great. The multiplayer was magnificent. The achievements were awesome. Alliteration aside, that smoke tech was... Mmm. Nice. You see, Jason, Vince, and the rest of Infinity Ward were absolutely killing it. And Activision was like... Hello. I like money. So they buy. They still haven't even got to the big part yet. And demand more Call of Duty, which of course they do. But look, making games is hard, and making money on them is even harder. So let's do the math. It would take roughly two years of funding to release one game for a chance at success. Best case scenario. I'm asking you to be okay not spending money that I don't have. So Activision decides to build Treyarch, know that second exists. company, so that they could release a Call of Duty every single year. No so that started that long ago. Like Call of Duty 2 came out, Infinity Ward. Call of Duty 3 came out, Treyarch. Call of Duty 4 came out, Infinity Ward. World at War came out, Treyarch. So this was like in the plan for no a long time. No one had ever done something like this before. I mean, you had sports games, but like the game's not changing that much, right? Yeah. It's the same game every single year. It's a different roster. It's a completely different thing. Because a new Call of Duty needs a big campaign. It needs cutting edge graphics, amazing multiplayer, <laughs> and much more. Now look. I may be a Canadian goose man with zero credentials, but I got to tell you, he's a fellow Canadian. It felt impossible at the time. Like there was no way it could ever happen. <laughs> oh, well, of course they did it. I never doubted them. Not but once. Call of Duty 3 sucked. Call of Duty 3 did sort of feel like a copy paste of last year's game with a few last minute changes. But that made this it worse. was exactly the opposite of what Infinity Ward stood for. And, uh... It became personal with me. <laughs> 50,000 people hey, in here here. we go. Now it's a ghost town. Infinity Ward comes out the gate swinging with the wildest curveball, and people around the world are frickin' losing their minds. Nice. Dude, it's... I think one thing that you have to remember with uh, Modern Warfare, uh, like the first Modern Warfare, games really weren't doing that at the time like it's way more common now like you got like rainbow six so calm like you had some at the time but none were like that arcade shooter like call of duty it's incredible cod 4 literally changes first person shooter and games it felt so forever. good like, and that's not even an exaggeration the control scheme smooth 60 frames per second gameplay yep. loadouts perks challenges the campaign the mile high club mission <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I may have wasted days, if not weeks, of my life trying to beat <laughs> that level on the highest difficulty for that achievement, and you might be thinking, well, surely you can't be serious. I'm serious, and don't call me Shirley. But more importantly, <laughs> check this out. Modern Warfare was the first game to dethrone Halo 3 as the most played game on Xbox Live, and completely revolutionized the idea of a four to six hour campaign with zero fluff. It was like the YouTube version of video games. The modern military take was an amazing surprise for literally everyone. Except Treyarch, who might have <laughs> been out of the loop on this one. I am very curious if the, his tone switches because now Treyarch is the darling baby of Call of Duty and everyone loves their games and everyone does not like Infinity Ward. So that switches at some point, but it, it, in his timeline, what he's talking about, it hasn't happened yet. While World of War... That is very hard to say. One more time. While World at War reviews well, Treyarch's new game feels incredibly odd releasing after Modern Warfare. Tensions were rising. True. And as far as Infinity Ward was concerned, they were Call of Duty. And, uh, you know, technically they had the receipts to prove it at this time. Yeah. But the team, and we're going to put on the dramatic voice for this, was just getting started. Yeah, this was the game. This was it. Infinity Ward was on a frickin' roll. Everything they made turned to gold. Activision CEO Bobby Kota could barely contain himself. What else can I help you with? 
because of the money exactly bigger better and a direct sequel to call of duty 4 modern warfare infinity war doubles down on everything that made cod 4 special no rush you see jason and, and vince made the rules call of duty was their franchise they could do what they want however they want the way they wanted with whomever they wanted to the two started having talks with their old pals at ea and uh yeah bobby didn't like that not one bit. Right, use of Except names. this is where things take a dramatic turn. So I don't know if he's going to go into this, but uh, during uh, Modern Warfare 2, everyone was loving that game, but there was broken things in it. There was like one man army, uh, noob tube. There was the commando knifing under the map glitches, things like that. And behind the scenes, there was a big lawsuit going on. Um, with Infinity Ward, and I hope he goes into that, but if he doesn't, I'll, I'll address it. <clears throat> that was me doing a dramatic... It doesn't matter. Cut to the clip. The two founders of Infinity Ward and the makers of the blockbuster Modern Warfare series were fired earlier this week by their parent company, Activision. It now appears that former employees Jason West and Vince Zampella are suing Activision for breaching their contracts and neglecting to pay them certain royalties that they were promised. And in case you forgot, the Modern Warfare franchise has raked in over a billion dollars worldwide. Billion dollars at that time for a video game was insane. And so we are talking some serious money here. With Jason and Vince gone, a good chunk of the team also leaves to follow them. Now, while that's incredibly wholesome and... By the way, they're back at EA. Uh, they uh, run uh, Respawn Studios. They made Apex Legends. Stuff like that. I believe they worked on the Star Wars games too. I could we be wrong about that. We should all strive to have homies like that. It uh, put a pretty big dent into Activision's main objective. We, we know. It's, it's very clear that's your objective. I mean, how else is Activision CEO Bobby Kotick supposed to get a role in 2011's hit movie Moneyball? You'll find new guys. I actually love that movie, and I'm not afraid to say I've seen it multiple times Money and will continue movie. to do so. When Chris Pratt hits that ball, <laughs> okay, hold on, focus. Back to the story. So, Modern Warfare had peaked fan expectations again. But at this point, CEOs are gone. Call of Duty was now technically on fire behind the scenes. I am never going to financially recover from this. Nobody had faith in Treyarch's games and, uh, yeah. Part of me will always wonder what would have happened if they didn't get fired. No one knows the exact reason why. Like he kind of alluded to, it sounds like they were talking to EA behind the scenes. EA was probably offering them a bunch of money. Bobby Kotick gets mad about that, fires them. They owe them money because the way the video games work, you get royalties off of the video games that you create to a certain extent at the very minimum bonuses. Lawsuit for that. A bunch of the team leaves. They don't like how Activision is treating them. They go to EA. I always wonder what would have happened with the game if that never happened. It looked like Call of Duty was about to die. No, it didn't. This is it. Go, go, go! Oh, Black Ops, that's where they're going with this. Oh. Hold on. What do you want from me? You want the numbers, Mason. That's all we've ever wanted. Black Ops releases has a fantastic campaign. The numbers are real. The best it's campaign, actually. This isn't a game. And an iconic zombies mode. And Treyarch figures out everything's gonna be alright so long as they just believe in their own style. Who knew the story of Call of Duty was so wholesome? But it gets better because this is where things start to speed up. Editor, lay in some Christopher Nolan-esque music with clocks ticking in the background to build the tension. Okay, so Modern Warfare 3 is a year away, and Whoever old edits his videos is starting to get a little stressed. You know, because, uh... Money! Yeah, exactly. Is, is that all these guys think about? It's, yes. Relax. Yes, Anyways, it is. So Bobby gets this revolutionary idea. What if we just hire another, another team? Like a B team for the B team, like a C team. Boom. They have like Sledge six teams now built, working on Call of Duty, Infinity by the way. Ward finish Modern Warfare 3 and... I didn't like Modern Warfare 3, like the original one. It was yeah, okay. It's a, it's a little rush, sure. But look, it's still Modern Warfare at the end of the day. I mean, heck, this game doesn't even have a tutorial. It it, it just goes. And I'm fine with that. North. We'll like it from here. Let's go. 
Now, Bobby's got three teams pumping out Call of Duty and he cranks that dial that was already set to 11 to 11,000 and holds his breath. And yes, I write my own stuff. Black Ops 2 brings the hype. Guess who brought a jet to a gunfight? Ghost kills it off completely. Fish, move out of the way when you get close to them. He's going quick warfare here. confuses it. I don't think, I think Advanced Warfare was actually good for the series though because people were getting bored of just uh, present day Black Ops, present day Black Ops, and then this comes out and it's like, future, what? That's where I come in. Black Ops 3 steals someone else's, but perfects zombie mode in the process. Yeah, their zombie, zombie mode was amazing. Infinite Warfare kills it again. That, that's one I gotta make a video on. Eyes on this race? Affirmative. World War II forgets everyone already moved on from World War II 20 years ago. Get me the f out of here. Black Ops 4 barely even releases. True. Seriously, there's... There's like no content in this game. It's insane that he makes a really good point here. And I don't know how I have never talked about this. People give Modern Warfare 3 a really hard time for being DLC. Look at Black Ops 4. No campaign. I guess they had Blackout. Multiplayer, which didn't have much added to it from Black Ops 3. And some zombies. I, maybe like zombies said it, it came out and they still had the balls to charge full price for it. Yeah, it's actually impressive. Oh, and they also release a mobile Call of Duty that is surprisingly good. <laughs> it's actually not bad. But now it's actually happening. Hey, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. What's a Call of Duty is dying. Is it? Nothing is hitting like it used to. The oh. hype has left the building and players are going to other trending games. After 15 years, the franchise had an incredible run with more games than most companies can dream. I wonder where he's going with this. But now it looked like it was time to put Call of Duty to rest and finally press F to pay. Warzone. Warzone is where he's going with this. And we all knew this clip was going to be in here, so I'm just going to roll it, okay? We're yeah, you can roll it. I do it too. I make many videos with that. I get it, man. Except it. that's not what happened, is it? Surprisingly, nope. after a huge restructure and three horrible back-to-back -back Call of Duty games, Infinity Ward comes back with a reboot of Modern Warfare. Bravo 6, going dark. It's more realistic, it's snappier, oh, and it's good. It's really good. But remember, it's campaign players was really were already good too. loving these other games, specifically because of the Battle Royale mode that was blowing up. We both got ran over! I think if Call of Duty wants to do this again, and wants to have the Warzone boom, they need to release a standalone free-to-play extraction shooter because that's what's big right now. And if they make a simplistic version, because if you look at these games that are coming out, you have um, Escape from Tarkov, you have uh, Gray Zone Warfare or whatever it's called. They're really complex and their systems don't quite feel right. If you take Call of Duty and have some sort of little bit more simplistic but still advanced system i think that's what blows up oh my god we're so bad see in a br the objective is simple there's a hundred people that are dropped into some circle and only one survives Sure, Modern Warfare does incredibly well but these br games are murdering murders but then during what not dmz one it needs to be supported better uh, and two, it needs to be, um, it needs to be better than DMZ. Uh, DMZ was good, uh, but it needs to be better than that. Close to DMZ. It just like the systems weren't quite there because it was like a secondary mode to Warzone. If they would have taken DMZ, took a year off, which they might be doing, and then relaunched it as its own game, man, it needs to come out soon though, because I think people are getting kind of sick Felt of this. Or a survival game, but a Call of Duty survival game would be weird. Both the longest and shortest years of our lives, Infinity Ward drops their own battle royale included with Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare was already brimming with content, but Warzone pushed the game to the edge and made the download size bigger than most people's entire hard drive. It's very true. God, why is it that big? Look. That's I don't know said. what was in the water in Infinity Ward during development of Modern Warfare, but like it completely worked. Warzone was freaking everywhere. Ah! Uh, the the actual answer to what was in the water during the development, I I have the answer to that. They brought back a bunch of the original Modern Warfare developers, which guess what? 
a bunch of them left after Modern Warfare 2019. See the difference between 2019 and Modern Warfare 2? People make a difference. And if you played it during the dark times. <laughs> I'm going to start referring to COVID as that. That's hilarious. Then you know how important games like these were to our sanity. Oh, yeah, baby. Go ahead. Oh, my God! No one does it better! Oh, baby! Which is both amazing nice and frighteningly depressing. So Call of Duty is back, baby! And it's printing money. Bobby can finally breathe again. So, Treyarch comes back with another Black Ops. I, I don't know. It's all right. It looks fine. It's fine. Sledgehammer tries another. It's a stinker. It's a stinker. Let's be honest. Guys, stop making World War II a thing. No, nobody cares. So, while we wait for the lengthy legal document that's about to be prepared in the comments section, Infinity Ward comes back swinging with Modern Warfare 2. Has a new war zone and the strangest Hulu style UI I ever did yeah. see. Uh, seriously, what, what, what happened there? Who thought that was good? Look, simple, confusing. They still simple. have it, man. They still have confusing. it. Let's just keep it simple. Okay, so now it's 2023 and Bobby's got a few disturbing implications under his belt. Oh yes, and then this happened. We find You're out what? that Kotick yeah, is a Kodick. For Bobby. And rather than deal with them, he throws one of the greatest curveballs of all time and sells the entire company for one hundred billion dollars. Not far off. Wow. Jason West retires from gaming. Vince creates hit after hit like Titanfall, Star Wars, Jedi, and Apex Legends for EA under new company hilariously called Respawn Entertainment. I like what you did there, Vince. It's very on the nose. I like it. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. And Call of Duty is still going. Because on November 10th, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 arrives. It's still going strong. And on top of that, we got a new Black Ops game coming this year. Putting out the same thing every year in a new setting. Modern Warfare 3 this year is the complete package. We're shipping 16 multiplayer maps, all from the original Modern Warfare Except your campaign's three hours long. Warfare 2. But that's actually what's super fascinating. That's because when you think about it, Call of Duty really isn't a game. It's a pattern or a formula, and believe it or not, that's yep. fundamental to a franchise. You go into a McDonald's, you expect a certain thing. And now here we are. It's actually a really good enjoying point. Enjoying a meal like gentlemen. Here's your Big Mac, here's your large fry, here's your junior chickens that you may or may not be addicted to. I love McDonald's, especially these junior chickens. They're like crack to me. Not that I've ever tried crack before. Now it seems like I've inferred that I have tried crack. I have not tried. And here's your Coke that tastes like the greatest thing of all time. What do they do with it? Well, that's the problem, right? Is when it, they have this like set level that they have to live up to. At some point, people get sick of that level. So you have to do better. But also you're going to have some stinkers that are below there. So is it like I, water down or so? I don't know what they do, but it's delicious. Try to describe any game as Call of Duty and people will totally get what it is. It means it's a first person shooter with snappy control, 60 frames per second, ADS. And once these guys figured that out, well, they could simply plug and play their identity into the formula. <laughs> nice little addition there. They switched the A team and B team with Treyarch. Well, every other year. Nice. So if you didn't like this year's game, you knew that next year there would be a brand new title that you might like. In fact, as odd as it sounds, having multiple highly competitive development teams releasing a new game every single year probably kept Call of Duty alive much longer than anyone could have ever imagined. Absolutely, but look, the did. real magic comes from how much these teams respect the social aspect of their multiplayer. He says he will give each of you $250 cash app if you leave us alone. Okay, deal. Yeah, all right. That never gets old, does it? Proximity chat is the best. Hey, no, stop. Just calm down. Don't do it. Every game should have it. Yet every <laughs> other AAA multiplayer game is becoming less fun every single year. And I believe I found the answer. So oh, watch this you? video to see the effect on gaming's war on terror. All right, I think that's it. We actually... Did, oh, why multiplayer games aren't fun. We haven't watched that one. I mean, we could watch that one. We'll watch it another day. This guy makes really good videos. Um, Zenkai Goose, 
he who's the editor first of all magnifique he does a really good job uh, but really really good videos i think he made a lot of really good points and looking back on that history of call of duty is always really really interesting so go get check out his video um i'll put it in chat and um if you want to check it out and you're watching this on youtube check it out link down in the description but great video and all really really true it's always interesting to see uh, what they do next, right? Like what, how do they get to that next level over and over and over again? Like, it seems like every time you think, oh, Call of Duty is dead, they drop something new. And I think this year is going to be zombies is going to be there something new. Uh, I think they're, they, they're trying to hit that out of the park. Um, but I think the year after that, that's when we're going to see like a DMZ or a survival game or something new. Uh, that's not Warzone and multiplayer, I think. I could be wrong, but just a guess. 